Hello friends, happy Vlogmas day 13. you're having a good day so far. Another very productive work day here today. We're already entering into the evening. Days just fly by, especially because it gets dark so early. The sun sets at 420 here right now and it's just gonna get earlier and earlier and because of all the pouring rain we've had, it's just felt so dark. Waking up to sunshine yesterday morning, I felt like a little kid waking up to snow. I was literally so <laughs> excited that the sun was shining. Make of that what you will. I mean, it's one thing, like at least the terrible weather has made me grateful for literally the sun. And also it's a little bit sad that a sunny day is that rare here. Cup half full, cup half empty. I don't know. Well, actually I'm definitely a cup half full kind of gal, but Anyways, I'm so excited because we're going to a comfort and joy Christmas concert tonight. Christmas music is one of my favorite ways to feel Christmas cheer. Anyone? Anyone? The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. There's just something about groups of people singing songs that makes me cry happy tears especially this time of year i went to this concert last year and loved it and i'm so excited to be going again and this time landon's coming too which makes me really happy and our friends erica and serena are joining us they're currently on their way over so i've gotten ready and i'm going to try and speed clean the house before it needs to come down it actually kind of smells bad because Rue has made it his dog nest and well, it just smells like dog. Dirty pretzel to be exact. So I'm gonna take down the fort, tidy up the house, and then we're gonna hang out with Eric and Serena. We're gonna go out to dinner. We're gonna have some ramen and then we're gonna go to the most magical concert of the year. I'm so excited. One of my favorite parts about riding is the adventurous aspect of finding new places. I remember years ago, somewhere around here, I found a set of stairs that went straight up this hill. And I think I'm looking at them. Yes, indeed, here they are. It doesn't look like much, but it's a carry the bike up situation. Oh boy, we are going up and up. The final climb, I can see blue skies. The view from the top is magnificent. That is St. Helens. Portland, you're always an adventure. Oh. Now the hoodie looking goody. Glorious sunshine. We're getting close. Lunch is calling. All right. Got a little surprise for Mo. Now it's time for lunch. Oh, and we approach home. I'm hungry. How about you? <laughs> hey. I just finished editing day 12. Awesome. Did you have a good ride? Oh, I had a great ride. Fun times with friends. Good. Our... Sunshine. Oh, sunshine. Hey, I have a treat in my back pocket for you. Really? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh so pretty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll treasure it. Thank you. That is your treat. And hummus, because we can make wraps for lunch. Yummy. Yeah. Hey, Rubier. The fortress is coming down. <laughs>
while we wait, I thought it would be fun to reminisce on Vlogmas so far or the month of December with Erica's bingo board. There's so many fun things to do on here. And I can't believe we're already halfway to Christmas. And we've done so many of these things. So I have a red marker and I'm gonna draw a heart on the ones that we've done so far. We've most certainly enjoyed a plethora of candy canes. Oh, heck yeah. I think I will. I've worn Christmas jammy. Christmas pajamas, <laughs> pajamas, PJs have been acquired. Mm -hmm. I feel like they match our personalities. Yes. They're very cute <laughs> so. and I'm very me. I've gone for a wintry walk. Oh my God. Fresh tracks. No. Wait, let's dance. Oh, we just built a cozy fort. I've most certainly read a holiday book. And enjoyed hot chocolate. It tastes like drinking fudge cake. Squat. <laughs> oh my god. Definitely working on the Christmas puzzle. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. No! It's out of three. Oh, it's that's two out of three. <laughs> yeah. You guys have seen my Christmas socks. They go so well with my Christmas slippers. And a, quite a look with the socks, too. <laughs> yeah, let's get a look, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what we... I faked something festive. What a fun night that was. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. <laughs> oh, it's so weird. I've lit lots of candles, that's for sure. Sing a Christmas song. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Merry Christmas. Enjoy a peppermint drink. Decorate. Yes. Make a gingerbread house. And hang Christmas lights. Oh, you guys, looking back on all these little moments makes me feel incredible it's been an absolutely amazing month so far and none of these things are grand or expensive things to do they're really quite simple and all the more special because of it i think what makes them most special is having people to share these moments with i have really good friends and i have landon who i love so much and i have you guys if not for you guys i'm not sure that i would be enjoying december so much or getting out and doing so many festive things so yeah the holidays oh man they have their highs and lows but if we can just hold on to these simple little moments i think that there is certainly a bit more joy this month i want to give you guys a big hug big big hugs this is my bingo board failed out so far. You guys, I've been doing all the things and I still haven't gotten bingo yet. <laughs> That's crazy. I guess if I were to use this free space, I would get a vertical bingo. But I like the challenge of doing a full set. Also, in case you didn't catch it in Vlogmas Day 1, these bingo boards are available for sale on Erica's website, ericataylorcreative.com. I highly recommend them. It's a digital download and you can go print it out at home or if you don't have a printer, like I don't, I just picked it up at FedEx. It's $3 to download and then having it printed at FedEx was 69 cents for me. Hey, Lan. Hey, doing a little sweater repair back here. Oh, nice. Really? Uh, well. That's really interesting. It's just mending 
moth holes that I didn't know were there, and I'm pretty committed to wearing this tonight. But yeah, that used to be a hole right yeah, here. That's very, very cool. The camera's having trouble focusing, but oh yeah, mm, in the light I can see, but it's a really good mending job. It gets the job done. That's um, so cool, man. But then in mending it, I found so many that it's probably a yard work slur now. <laughs> <laughs> Can't ever have too many of those. But we're wearing it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. I like your little mending kit right here. Handy. I sewed a lot on the PCT, just repairing shoes even, and socks, and tents. backpacks, tents, all kinds of things. Stuff you would never think. Landon actually carries some thread and a needle <laughs> in his wallet. Oh my gosh. But it's like heavy duty thread if you need to repair a shoe, for instance. <laughs> <laughs> you so. repaired many things for me, actually, on the go even. So I keep it just in a little baggie with the needle. And then you always have to have a Swiss Army knife. <laughs> <laughs> with the knife taken out of it so that you can travel with it. I swoon! <laughs> So attractive, Lan. Oh, thank you. A man who sews and repairs his sweaters to wear to Christmas concerts. That's me. What can I say? I'm so festive. Eric and Serena are here. Yay! <laughs> what the heck? I told you. That is incredible. We are way too dependent on our the camera. backup camera. Good job, Mo. <laughs> thank you, guys. I've told her before how good of a parallel parker you are. Yeah, well, that was impressive. That was <laughs> my time. Now, that was probably less than 10 seconds. We, <laughs> Mo manifested a spot and said, I'm going to get us right in front of the door. There's the door. And this spot is so tight. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Parallel parking. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I have a long walk to the restaurant. <laughs> wow. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! to go 
go to our seats. Ah, oh, well, perfect. Thank you. Guys, we got lyrics. It's definitely gonna be some singing. <clears throat> I need to do my vocal warm up, I guess. Me, 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 me. Oh, it's so beautiful in here. Come to my favorite Portland lookout. It's absolutely magical. Well, sweet friends, we are at the end of another video. What a magical, magical, magical night. I'm very much feeling the Christmas spirit now, officially. Thank you for sharing this evening with me. I want to give each and every single one of you the biggest hug like I said earlier I just appreciate you endlessly and I hope that you're having a good week and a good holiday season and if you're not I want to send you light and love if you have a lonely heart it's okay it's going to be okay and I say that as someone who in Christmas pasts didn't have any of this and was so alone with no friends it's a horrible, horrible place to be, but you're gonna get through it. You will absolutely get through it. There's nowhere to go from here but up, I promise. In the meantime, thank you for being here. Thank you for spending these days with me. Thank you to everyone who shows up every day to watch my videos. I love you all so incredibly much, and I will see you again tomorrow. Sweet dreams. Hi Morgan, my name's Tammy and I'm calling from Central Illinois. It's fine to use my message, but the most important thing to me is that I get the opportunity to thank you for the time and effort you put into your channel. I found it at a time when I was feeling a deep dissatisfaction and restlessness, but didn't know why. I'm 57 years old and I've raised children and a grandchild. I love my family dearly, but I'd begun thinking back over the decades that had passed since I'd put the original me on hold to take care of my responsibilities. It felt like it was too late to get back to the original me and I began to have panic attacks. After watching some of your videos, I realized that you felt familiar because you reminded me of me when I was much younger. Seeing you work toward being the person you want to be and not give up, I was inspired to discover and do the things that make me feel whole and bring me joy. Happiness is happiness at any age and you're never too old for fun and whimsy. It just looks a little different with gray hair and wrinkles. I'm stepping out of my comfort zones and learning to enjoy it instead of being terrified. I'm spending time doing things I enjoy, even if I'm not very good at them. The panic attacks have stopped and I no longer feel restless and dissatisfied. 
I just want people to know if anyone out there feels like it's too late to be your complete self and be the person you want to be, remember, as long as we're breathing, it's not too late. Morgan, thank you again for being willing to share your journey. Merry Christmas to this community, Landon, Rue, and especially you.